Hey there, this is Evan from buildelectroniccircuits.com and today I'm going to show you two specific action steps that you can take today to increase your skills in electronics. If you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you're not where you want to be when it comes to building electronics. Maybe you're a complete beginner, you have never built anything before, but you think it looks really cool and you want to build something. Maybe you have an idea that uh, you can build this robot, but you have no idea how to get from where you are to building this robot. Or maybe you built a few circuits, maybe you built a little alarm circuit, some blinking lights, um, maybe a little amplifier and some cool stuff. But you have these cool ideas on how to automate your house, for example, but you have no idea how to build those ideas in reality. So today I'm going to share, share with you two specific action steps that can increase your skill level so that you will get closer to the level that you want to be at. When I started learning electronics, I struggled a lot with learning this stuff. I was really, really interested in electronics. I went to the library, I read books. A lot of these books had really complicated explanations for everything and I didn't understand it. I contacted a radio amateur group because I heard that they also taught electronics to their um, members. So I contacted them but they were really more interested in, in speaking on the radio than actually building stuff. So that didn't work out either. And even when I went to the university I got these super complicated explanations for everything and I learned to calculate super specific things like the reactance of a capacitor, things that I would never ever use, at least I haven't used it so far. But I didn't learn how to build stuff. So I tried a different approach. Um, I kind of stumbled onto this and what I did was that I, I I was really eager to build stuff, so I found schematics online and I built them in my room. And I kind of did this and every time I built something my confidence grew more and more, so I felt more confident that I could build stuff. But I, I still I was still I still followed the, the instructions exactly like how it was in the schematics. One time we had this new class that I was attending. And the professor said that everybody would present themselves after the weekend and we had to add some element of ourselves into the presentation to kind of uh, to, to make a personal touch out of the presentation and show who are we. So I instantly knew that I wanted to put some kind of electronics into my presentation. So I, I got this idea that I want to send out my business card automatically to all the people in the audience. So I bought myself a Bluetooth module, a microcontroller and some different components and I started reading up on how to use these components. I had uh, played around with microcontrollers and some other components before so it wasn't totally new to me. But I knew that I had to finish this within the weekend and then I would show it off. So I had a specific deadline that I had to make. And I spent the entire weekend just building this and when Monday came I had it ready. I think I finished it maybe half an hour before I had to go to the presentation. I went to the presentation, I had my presentation, I put on the device to send out my business card and it didn't work. The problem was that I had a counter in my microcontroller that only could count to 16 and there were 20 people in the audience so my counter uh, failed and the device failed. But I wasn't uh, unhappy even though it failed. I, I actually made my goal, I made my device. Even though it had a minor bug in it but that didn't stop me from uh, celebrating my big achievement. I had more of these types of situations through my career that has enabled me to build almost anything that I can think of. But what, what specifically happens in such a process? So let me break it down for you. There's two things that, uh, that I did. One of them was to just build circuits. Finding circuits online and building them, it, which grew my confidence level. The second thing was to have this project that pushed my limits. 
I'd never done anything so advanced before, so it pushed my limits and I had a deadline. So I had to do it before Monday. And these two things combined, I've done several times throughout my career and these are the two key elements to be able to build whatever you want to build. So here is two action steps that you can take today to approach that level of skills so you can take those ideas you have in your head and make it into something real. Action tip number one. Go to Google, type in the circuit, the project that you want to make. For example, let's say you want to make a blinking light. Type in blinking light circuit, press search, and then go to the image tab. And then you get a list of lots of different images. Most of them will be schematics for how to blink a light. Or you can type in alarm circuit or alarm circuit diagram. Go to the image tab, look at all the images and you will get lots of images of schematics that you can put together and build today. Action step number two. Take a project that pushes your limit a little bit and make a deadline that you commit to. For example, tell your friends that you're gonna make this awesome little thing and show it off to them on Sunday and it will blow their minds. Now your friends will expect you to build this, so you just have to build it. So you will just sit down, figure out all the challenges and get through all the challenges and then show it off to them on Sunday and they blow their minds off. So that's two tips for you today. In this video I talk about something that I've done to get to the level that I am at now. And I've shared with you two action steps that you can take today to get further towards the level that you want to get to. So you're probably asking yourself, what kind of service do I have to build? Can I build a blinking light circuit over and over and over and over again and I will become good at electronics? No, not exactly. There are some specific types of circuits that I recommend you build to expand your horizon. And when you have built these different types of circuits, then it's easier to take those ideas that you have in your head and see that, aha, I need a little bit of that, and a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. And then you put it together and create that idea that you had in your head. So I'm going to talk more about that in my next video, so stay tuned.